Now that we have seen the project file, the next thing that I want to show you is we have dependencies here and we can see the packages that we saw previously inside the project file will be installed right here. We will be adding more packages down the road. But the next folder that we have is the properties folder and inside there we have launch settings.json. In here we have the different profiles using which we can run our application. Like you can see inside the profiles we have a bulky book web profile and we have an IIS Express profile. If we use the IIS Express profile, we know the port number that will be used here is explicitly defined. If we use the bulky book web, in that case it will use 5000 and 5001 based on HTTPS or HTTP. The bulky book web is the default type. What this will do is it will run a .NET command line and that will trigger the application. So if you try to run this directly with bulky book web, you will first see a command prompt and then it will launch the website on port 5001. You can see inside the logs it is displaying all of that. So that is one way or one profile to run our application. If you hover on this down arrow, you will see there is another profile which is IIS Express and that is the name that we have in launch settings. If you run with IIS Express, it will use the port number right here for the SSL. So let me run that and show that as well. Great, you can see it runs on the different port that is defined right here. So the default behavior is using the bulky book web profile, but we will be changing that and using IIS later on. So that was a brief overview on launchsettings.json. After that, the next folder that you see here is the www root folder. If you expand that, you will see all the static files of your project. So any static files like CSS, JavaScript, images or any libraries, everything will go inside the www root folder. The www root folder will not have any C sharp files. This folder is only meant to serve the static files of our application. So we will be using the static folder extensively throughout the course when we are adding some JS or some images or any other libraries. The www root folder will be the root folder of your application. So always remember if you ever have to add any static file, it will always go inside the www root folder. Then we have the folders for controllers, models and view. I will get back to them in a couple of videos. But the file after that is appsettings.json. This is the file in which we will be adding all of the connection strings and secrets of our application. Like you might have some API keys, you might have some send grid keys, you have stripe payment keys, any of the static secret keys that you want to save, we will be storing them inside appsettings.json. If you expand this app settings, you will notice that we have appsettings.development.json. So you can create new JSON files and it will automatically bundle them inside appsettings.json. Like if you create for another environment appsettings.staging.json, then you can have appsettings.production.json. All of them will be bundled in one umbrella. And then based on the environment variable, you can configure it to use the different app settings file. Because connection string for a database in development will be different if you compare that to staging, preview, or production. So that way you can go into those configuration. We will be using just appsettings.json right now because we will be working with the local host. Also in production there are multiple ways of saving secrets like you can add them to Azure Storage Vault and much more. But that is beyond the scope of this course. To get started you need to remember all of your application secrets must be inside appsettings.json and not directly inside any of your CS or class files. 
We will come back to this file in the later videos and we will add our connection string. Now the last file that we want to take a look at is program.cs. Let's do that in the next video.